In the pursuit of a cure for AIDS, scientists have devoted great efforts into studying the HIV lentivirus. Although a cure for AIDS remains to be seen, research efforts into the HIV lentivirus have led to major developments of powerful HIV-based tools for transgene delivery. Today, lentiviral vectors are major tools for basic and translational research, enabling scientists to stably overexpress or silence genes, immunize against a range of diseases, generate transgenic organisms, and much more. The lentivirus is part of the retroviridae family of viruses, with HIV-1 being the most widely studied. Members of this family contain a positive single-stranded RNA that is reverse transcribed into DNA and integrated into the host cell's genome. The HIV lentiviral RNA genome contains three major genes, GAG, PAL, and N. The GAG gene encodes protective core and matrix proteins for viral assembly and infection. The PAL gene encodes for reverse transcriptase, RNAs H, and integrase, enzymes crucial for reverse transcription and genomic integration. The MF gene encodes for surface glycoproteins that determine tropism and enable entry into the cell. The lentivirus genome also contains two important regulatory genes, TAT and REV, that activate viral transcription, as well as four accessory genes, VIF, VPR, VPU, and NEF, that are less essential for virus replication in host cells. Lentiviruses have lots of potential as tools for gene delivery and gene therapy. This is because their stable integration into the host cell genome ensures long-term expression for stable cell line generation. They can infect both dividing and non-dividing cells such as hepatocytes and neurons, cells that are notoriously difficult to infect. They have broad tropism, making them effective vehicles for delivering CRISPR sgRNA constructs to edit the genes within any tissue type. They don't generate immunogenic proteins, and they can deliver transgene fragments as large as 9 kb. Because of all these advantages, great efforts have been put into developing recombinant lentiviruses for clinical and research use due to their robust infection ability. However, precautions are needed to ensure replication competent lentiviruses are not accidentally generated via recombinations between the delivered as well as endogenous viral elements in producer cells. In an effort to reduce biosafety risk, three generations of recombinant lentiviral packaging systems have been developed with the first generation system no longer in use due to biosafety risks. The second generation system splits the essential components of the lentiviral system across three plasmids that are delivered separately for safety. The transfer plasmid encodes for the transgene. It also contains cis-acting elements such as a 5' and 3' LTRs essential for promoting RNA polymerase II to begin transcription of viral mRNA and the size sequence which signals genome packaging. The packaging plasmid is provided in trans and encodes only essential transacting genes, GAG, PAL, REV, and TAD, that are required for entry and integration of the viral genome. The envelope plasmid contains genes encoding for envelope proteins. For safety reasons, all other genes involved in viral propagation, for example, VPR, VIF, VPU, and NEF, are excluded. To almost completely eliminate dangerous lentiviral recombination events, an even safer third-generation system was created. In this system, the viral genome is split into four plasmids. A plasmid containing only the packaging genes, GAG and PAL, a plasmid with only the regulatory gene, REV, a plasmid carrying only the envelope gene, ENV, and a transgene plasmid. In addition, the LTRs flanking the transgene are further modified as they contain enhancer and promoter regions that can activate adjacent cellular proto-oncogenes. By removing this enhancer and promoter region, U3, from the 3' LTR, a replication incompetent, self-inactivating system is created as this deletion is transferred to the 5' LTR after reverse transcription and integration. The U3 of the 5' LTR is also replaced with a CMV promoter to eliminate the need for the transcriptional transactivator, TAT. Although the third generation is significantly safer, its viral yield is typically lower than that of the second generation system. At ABM, we offer both second and third generation lentiviral packaging systems to suit any application. Finally, as tropism is determined by the glycoproteins on the viral surface, 
A lentivirus's tropism can be further broadened by replacing the HIV-1 mph glycoprotein with the envelope glycoprotein G from the vesicular stomatitis virus, VSVG. VSVG is incorporated in all ABM lentivirus packaging systems to widen the range of cell types the virus can bind to. Recombinant lentiviral systems show great promise as potent tools for gene therapy to treat HIV infection, cancer, Parkinson's disease, and many more. A breakthrough is surely not far on the horizon. In the meantime, recombinant lentiviral systems have secured their place as an invaluable tool for advancing in vitro and in vivo research across a variety of areas in biology and the life sciences. From siRNA lentivectors to CRISPR-Cas9 lentivectors to chemate-inducible lentivectors, our lentiviral vectors and ready-to-use lentiviruses can be used to manipulate gene expression of any human, mouse, or rat gene. Simply select your gene of interest as well as a promoter, tag, and or reporter, and we'll package it for you at the titer you desire. Check in with our store at www.abmgood.com and explore a catalog of lentivirus products and services today. If you enjoyed our video, please comment and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about the lentivirus system, visit our lentivirus knowledge base. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them below and we'll get back to you shortly. Thanks for watching.